A phenomenon for the ages. Millions across the country will look up to the sky tomorrow afternoon to catch a glimpse of a rare solar eclipse. Good evening. I'm Aziza Schuler. Hundreds of cities and towns in 15 states lie along what's called the path of totality. We won't get full totality here, but it's still shaping up to be quite the celestial show. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayetto went to see how people are already preparing. I planned for this time, got my glasses, so I'm ready. I'm excited. The anticipation is building as we're less than 24 hours away from the upcoming celestial event. This is a natural phenomenon that you don't get everyone, you don't get all the time. Just important that you celebrate it, the science of it all. To experience the science, people are buying up protective glasses while organizers are preparing for countless watch parties throughout our area. The Franklin Institute is gearing up for a free viewing event, and the Philadelphia Zoo is even getting in on the rare moment by allowing visitors to be part of a research project. We are inviting our guests that are here uh, tomorrow during the eclipse to record data on whatever one of their favorite animals they'd like to watch, either before, during, or after the eclipse. Outside of the city, Westchester University will be hosting hundreds of eclipse viewers. I think these kinds of events are helpful too because. They just bring people together to kind of rediscover the natural world. Aside from preparations here close to home, many people are traveling to different parts of the U.S. to get the best viewing experience. We're going up towards Vermont uh, to see the eclipse up there. And if you can't get your hands on glasses, astronomer Peter Detterlein says there are other ways you can watch safely with items you probably already have at home. A colander is a perfect way for everybody to see it. You're actually looking away. You're going to have the colander and a white sheet and just move it back and forth for the focus and the colander is going to act like a pinhole camera. Every little hole in that is going to show a mini eclipse. A celestial phenomenon that many can't wait to witness. In Center City, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia. Thank you, Marcella. There are also other places you can go to watch the eclipse. Morris Arboretum in Chestnut Hill is hosting an event. The Philadelphia Independence Visitor Center is inviting people to view the eclipse atop the Liberty View Terrace. And Villanova is hosting an on-campus viewing party. We have more events and information on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. So 